I'm just going to undercut. Oh, that's not good. I, I've taken us into the Sainsbury's car park. Sorry, mate. I, fucking now. Oh, Warden issuing a ticket. Uh, uh, oh, Pimlico, Pimlico, Pimlico. Look angry. Give them a stern stare. I'm going to give her a little wave. I'll be closer to the police van. Yeah, I'll give her a little double wave. <laughs> she gave you a dirty look. I'm not, I'm not saying that to win brownie points. Right, now, the big question on the lips of the nation is will the Ducati start? <laughs> she will, come on. She, I, I can feel it, I, I know she will. <coughs> That's worrying. Oh no, 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 see that, no yeah, she's fine, see, she's fine. See. She just needs a little tickle. Okay, right, I'm, I'm one gloving it, I'm afraid. I, I know the, I can't swipe. Actually, that's the wrong hat. Oh. Right, um. Try, try with the glove. Try, try swiping with the glove. See if it works. Oh, actually, yeah, it does work. Okay, okay there right, you go. Hang on. There you go. I'll go and get a glove. Hang on. A few moments later. Right, everybody. We haven't done a motor vlog in ages. It's time. So, me and the camera guy are back. I tell you what. We'll go down Park. We'll go down the North North Cirque. Mm. Come off at Park Royal where Ace Cafe is. And then if we come off there and go up through Willesden, there's lots of, lot, there'll be lots of lovely women there we can wave at. Let's see how many wave. <laughs> I, I'm going with none. They'll just look at us like we're weird. I think if we're quick, we could just nail it in front. Oh, yeah. Um, um, um. All right, first question. That's, that's quite rude, really. Tits or ass? It's uh, breast or bottom, we shall say. Well, that's, I mean, that's quite a personal question to ask. But since you ask, I am a, I'm a breast man myself. Not that that's relevant, but yes. We're gonna have to overtake him, man. We've got to show him who's boss. Right, right, you get ready, yeah? Here we go. Right, right, here we go. I'm just gonna undercut. Oh. oh my goodness, that backfire. Uh uh uh. <laughs> <laughs> that backfire. Uh uh uh. Right, next question is from Joe. How often are you recognised in public? You've been moving a couple of times while I've been in public, yeah, haven't you? Yeah, actually, funny enough, you say that. When was it? Two days ago, we were parking up somewhere uh, just outside the, uh, an EICR you were doing and someone rocked up and recognised you, didn't That's they? That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. It does happen. I mean, it's, you know, it's a weekly thing. You do get it, but um, I'll be honest, it's not, um, it's not something I'm, I'm still particularly comfortable with. Which exit do we want to come off that? Oh, I was actually thinking of the next exit, but all right, we'll go with this one. Actually, no, I'm sorry, sorry, Eagle, sorry, sorry, sorry. Were well, we going back in? Yeah, yeah? I actually took the wrong turning. I, I, no I, I have copped up. Yeah, it does happen. You do get it sort of, you know, weekly. Um, but yeah, you normally, what I found is you get the, you get, I, I call it that look. It's the look where you know they recognize you, but they've done a double take and they're still not totally sure. It just doesn't get boring. I'm sorry. I am riding like I've got an ass bow, but <laughs> sorry. Oh, that's not good. That's norm normal in Wembley. Welcome to this wonderful neighbourhood. It's the way the council haven't even removed it. They've just left. They just put some cones around it. This man called Wong. Oh, is that? Is that? Uh, George yes. Wong, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Tuesday, the 14th of September at Castle Coombe. You game. Uh, I probably won't know because I've got my NIC assessment on the Wednesday, I think, so I've got to prepare for it. So, But now I've said it on social media, I'm sure lots and lots of other people will go there. Oh, it's a dead end on the right, so we've got to go left. Oh, expert slow control, see that? Oh, okay, let's give her a little wave, little wave, little wave, little cheeky wave. Oh, she's not even looking, dude. No. <laughs> she just is not looking. She was too busy looking at those houses. Right, Al Fergus, I think that was your name. Your comment to the race to the bottom in domestic, do you think it will change or stay the same? It's just going to get worse and worse and worse until, yeah, until something catastrophic happens and then it will change. But until that point, it won't change, which is a, is a very, you know, that is a very pessimistic viewpoint but it is unfortunately true you ah, this is a good question cameron pie yeah do you think you'll go to a fleet of electric vans we were talking about this weren't we yeah the problem is they haven't got the range have they they just they don't have the range which you need well that's the thing though like recently you mentioned about the guy you took to talk to from open reach he had the vivaro e and he said he can only push about max 70 miles off the, That's right, off cause, the van. Because we were talking about that and we were saying that it could just be he had his air con on. Because loads of you were talking that oh, he, you, you will get sort of 150 in your van. Yeah. But it could be just he canes it hard, has the air con I mean, on. If it's not his, not his van, he's probably going to be caning it. <laughs> if he's hot, he's probably got the AC on full blast. Yeah. You know, accelerating harsh, you know, going at fast speeds when 
not really necessarily needing to. That's what I mean. I think the best way to see whether that is an option for you is probably book a test drive or something yeah. like that and give it a go yourself and see what it's like. Because I was thinking, we were talking about, I was thinking of getting rid of both the Black Meadow traffics, get rid of both of those and get a pair of electric ones. So yeah, the electric vans, we're not sure on at the moment, to be honest. But it is something that's come up in conversation and we are thinking about it. We're just not sure yet. Right now, to be honest, it's an expense we don't need, is the, uh, is the honest answer. I'm just going to nip in front of you, my dear. Hope you don't mind. A lovely day. Turning right, yeah? Yeah, turning right. Hang on. Oh, mate, I'm sorry. I, I've taken us into the Sainsbury's car park. Sorry, mate. I, Very nicely done. You know how motor vloggers in like Calgary and stuff, they've got these like eight lane carriageways and it's just all easy. And we're out um, in Sainsbury's yeah, roundabout. We're, nice. we're in Sainsbury's. I didn't really think that one through. Sorry. Do you watch any other YouTuber electricians and which ones do you like? Um, I think I've spoken about this before. I don't, uh, I actually don't watch any. I deliberately don't watch them just purely because I don't want it to, I just don't want it to affect my contents. You know, how you watch things and then you take it on your own and stuff i don't do that so i just deliberately don't watch any of them Fucking hell. very nice next question when will you branch out of london it is a conversation that me and sarah have spoken about but yeah let's let's work on london first before we get to oh, warden issuing a ticket yeah when will you branch out of london i don't know i'd like to one day i would like to i've definitely got aspirations to do it uh, it's just a question of time ultimately ah yes uh adrian a sucker rucker rucker rucker, whatever your name is. How are those cheap lights you mounted on the unit holding up? Actually really well, they're still going strong. They're doing absolutely fine. We've had no issues with them at all. They're doing bang up job. Hey, hey, hey. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with doing a wheelie? He was pulling a bit of a wheelie, fell off. Uh, uh, Pimlico, 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 look angry. Give them a stern stare. <laughs> he's not even fucking looking up. Yeah, right. He's too busy eating his fucking cheese and tomato sandwich. Look, oh, he does have a pretty cool red plate though. We yeah. fix. Yeah, all right, mate. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I know who my friends are. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, those lights are really good, aren't they? They are good. For what they're basically 15 quid each, and they've just they've held up really well. They've been in for probably four or five four or five months. Yeah, I think they've passed that threshold where if they if there was something wrong with them, they'd have gone already. Exactly. So yeah. now they're gonna last. <laughs> How do you deal with the stress of being self-employed? Camera guy has seen firsthand the stress that this causes. To be fair, since we've started training, my stress levels have dropped. Yeah? Why well, have you not noticed? Oh, cheers, oh, mate. No, no, no. You're, you're right on my side today, aren't you? I'm sorry, who are you? <laughs> you following me for? <laughs> yeah, it is stressful. You've got to delegate work to people because otherwise you try and do all the work yourself, it just gets, it just gets so stressful. It's, um, it's too much and not enough time. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, maybe the training will go into a video one day. Once we put on a bit of muscle, yeah. yeah once we put on a bit of muscles rather than the lanky streaks of piss that we currently are. Talk about yourself, yeah? <laughs> no, I'm joking, man. No, you're not. <laughs> no, I'm not. How many hours per week do you work? It ranges, isn't it? Yeah, it, it varies. I'm in the unit by, what, six every morning. Well, on a good day, we finish four or five, filming at least. I don't know, you, you probably get out the unit by seven. Yes, yeah, I'd like to be out the unit by seven at the latest, ideally. So yeah, whatever that is, five days a week. 11 hours a day? Yes. <laughs> Go me. Uh, definite spittage on helmet. This could be a rainy vlog soon. Matt Biker, you've asked, what does your upcoming highways work involve? Ooh. Ooh, that is a juicy, that's a juicy number. Um, fucking hell, all right, that was a late, a late indication, sir. I'm gonna give it a little wave. I say be friendly, be nice and friendly, doesn't hurt. Do you think I'm a fucking weirdo? Just trying to be friendly. <laughs> she, she thought I was weird, but yeah. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Our <laughs> uh, upcoming highways work. Uh, I can't say too, I can't go into huge detail on it yet, but it does involve uh, AMPR traffic cameras. Ooh, fancy. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. We're not in a fantastic position to go straight ahead, but. Oh, that's not stopping you. Look at boss man go there. All right, okay, fine. I'll come in front of you. All right. Oh, very nice. I'll be close to the police van <laughs> over the white line. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I kept in yeah. within. Gary Sherlock, you should organize a bike meet with all your followers. I think that is potentially a catastrophic idea. Yeah. Can you imagine how problematic that would be? It's, it's hard enough getting two of us to follow each other. Well, I think we mentioned this before in the previous motor vlog. It would just be a logistical nightmare, wouldn't it? It really would. I, it would be cool, don't get me wrong. Oh yeah, it'd be very cool, but it would be 
it would just be it would just be chaotic there'd be no structure to it whatsoever i mean what you could do potentially is meet with everyone at a location and just like chill that and could, chat yeah that could work but an actual ride out kind of thing yeah that that would be a bit of a it's just because i you know to 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 be able to follow each other and not do anything stupid you need to be able to communicate with yeah. each other you know and once you get past a group of four it's yeah you can't really get in that comes that I think you can get some that go up to like six, but that but that's it. I think what you could also do actually is get walkie talkies and have everyone just listen to whatever one person actually, say. Yeah. But I mean, you know, it does Yeah, it get it gets a bit complicated, doesn't it? Carl FC, biggest biggest cock up by far. That is an easy one to answer. I've probably heard this story already, haven't I? Why? Which which was the one you think I I think it's one of the first ones you told me you, you, when you first started and you drilled through a wall and then you hit a pipe or something like that. Yeah. One of the first house rewires or something along those lines. But I know you said you hit a, a water pipe. That's right. Yeah, I did. I, that was, I mean, that was quite a, that was a quite monumental actually. Yes, that was a big cock up. But in my current day cock ups, I mean, from a stress of finance point of view, applying for my HERS registration, and applying for my risks registration at the same time. That was that oh. was fundamentally, that was a mistake. I should have done one at a time. Um, instead, I did um, I did them both together and that was really foolish. That was very, very foolish. I mean, it's too late now we're doing it, but it's causing a lot of stress and hassle doing our highways accreditation and trying to do our herds accreditation together. That was a big mistake. I, should, I definitely, should, I didn't think that through enough. So that's probably, since we got the unit, that was the biggest mistake. Hey. Oh, lady running, lady running. Should I give her a wave? Yeah, I'll give her a little double wave. <laughs> she, <laughs> she gave you a dirty look. You just had all your confidence crushed. Maybe I don't look so cool on the bike after all. <laughs> but she might have just been having a bad day. Yeah, you know? true, true. <sighs> I forgot to plug my microphone in. So the last 40 minutes of questions. I, nobody knows how much, how honestly, how fucking complex these are. We're almost at the unit. We've still got some more questions to answer. Let's give it a crack. It's just going to have to be motor vlog slash unit vlog. Yes, it's going to have to be. <laughs> right, get out of here before my SD card dies again. How do you maintain a relationship when you work so much? It is difficult. Um, it's really difficult. I think it's just a question of finding a balance and finding. You got to find a girl who accepts the fact that you work a lot. I think Amy's pretty accepting of you, mate. To yeah, be she is very accepting. I'm not. I'm not saying that to win brownie points. I, I'm just, you know. <laughs> I think in general, some chicks just dig when they go out with someone who has ambition and uh, works hard. You know. Oh, there's no shortage of that here. Yeah, it is difficult, but it's it is manageable. It's just finding the right woman. I genuinely think that's all it is. You know, if you've got a woman who wants you home every day at five o'clock, that's going to be an issue. Oh, would you consider getting an adventure bike? Go on. What do, what, what, what do you what do you have to say to that? I don't know, like a BMW 1200. That's a bit of a touring adventure bike. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. I would not mind. But that, that's what I mean. I mean, if you're gonna get one of those, I think you need to have in the pipeline some sort of adventures to go on because it's just a. I mean. It's not necessarily a waste in the city, but it, it would be nice to make use of it, you know? Ah, uh, my phone's run out, so we can't continue this vlog. Well, that's all we've got time for today, folks. Well, one more question we, I know. How is it, how is it being a boss? And uh, who's the bigger boss, you or Sarah? That one I know. I think for everyday things, Sarah is the boss. She just, she, we, she, we just do what she says. Because she is in charge of a lot of stuff in the office and keeping all of that stuff rolling. But I am the boss, but Sarah is also the boss. I don't know, it's, you know what I mean though? Yeah. She's, she's, she's co-boss. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cheeky downshift, okay. Cheeky downshift. Yeah, so you would say Sarah's the bigger boss? I think so. She well she's not the big she's not the bigger boss. <laughs> you know? I mean she has got the bigger desk to be fair. Fucking now. Successful motor vlog. Success. Highly successful. To be fair, I remember the first motor vlog we did. Yeah. And that was literally, it took us a whole, wasn't it? A whole day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, there's so, it's so many things you've got to think about. I yeah. think we filmed three motor vlogs and they didn't make it. Yeah. Or maybe it was two and the third one did make it. Something along those yeah. lines. But I know we did a few test runs beforehand. Yeah. That either the SD card didn't go or I forgot to plug my mic in or yeah. whatever. Batteries run out. I know people think it looks, oh, I just put a couple of cameras on bikes and go. There is, there is so much more yeah. to it. Yeah. It's really, there's just so many things like the timing of when you switch them all on, syncing everything, the position you're in when you're talking to each other. It's, yeah. yeah. Oh, I can't pull it in anyway because uh, James has... I'll pull the lead. James has plugged it in.
Ah, very nice. Little kangaroo. I'm a bit sad I didn't get it in black, I'll be honest. You can always get it wrapped. <laughs> cost you more than the car, but... Yeah, if I wrap it, it'll cost me more than the bloody van will. Okay, here we go. Cheeky little push. Ah, straight in. Banging. Has this content gone out yet? No, this hasn't been released yet. This is all to be released. This hasn't... Yeah. <laughs> Coming up in Monday's video. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See if you can guess what we're doing. We're just going to have to end this here like this. Yeah. We're going to have to. If this, if this vlog has been cut short, I sincerely apologise, but we just, I left my mic out and I fucked up. Until next Friday, we will get, we will get this together. I'm going to go, but first thing I do is buy some new GoPro batteries and, yeah. and some proper branded SD cards yes, rather than this yes, shit yes, that I've got. Yes, yes, yes. So yeah. All right. Boom. <laughs>